Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida in the backyard and it's about 90 degrees and all of my paint's been out here for hours and it's probably 90 degrees but when I left I used this sticky wrap and I covered the paint that I had left over that I wanted to use that I didn't have time to because I had an appointment at the vet and um, yeah the allergies in Florida are horrible I think I said that my last painting, I tried to use the acetate cards, and I've got some interesting paint on there. Oh, and it's, some of it's still wet, too. Wow, that's cool. Anyway, so my my idea is to put my glasses on my face. There they are. And I want some different colors in here than I have, which means I'm going to be attempting to combine <laughs> hot paint and cold paint. And we will see how that works out. This is my favorite Art Minds. It's not a color shift, but it's an iridescent and it dries like butterfly wings. And I adore it completely. I'm gonna find some darker purple and throw that in this mix as well. Can I actually have that please? There we go. Give it a bit of shake. Since everything's been literally cooking out here for hours. You know what? I really think I just want some more blue in there. Is that the blue I want? I'll take that blue. And I like the white, and I all, often talk about adding odd color combinations, so I think that's what I'm going to do. But this paint is a lot thicker, I can see that. So I guess what I'm going to do, other than trying to keep that sticky wrap from blowing in my artwork while I'm working, is throw a bunch more gold in there. Whoop. Maybe some metallic green. And what else? Strange colors. Very strange. Uh, doesn't seem to matter much. This is a cobalt blue, and I think that might be great right in there. What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, I know I'm losing it. It's pretty hot out here. <laughs> and I'm not usually overly sane when it's this hot. That's cool, but it makes me want some more blue. And I think I'm just going to add some turquoise. And that makes me want some more dark purple, which I put somewhere right in front of me. Yes, there it is. I'm going to try and make some pools. The weirder the pattern in your dish, the more likely you are to get something cool, in my opinion. So, um, I have this funky... Yes. I just made that color recently by adding some unicorn spit, which will, by the way, if you use it, and it's a stain to uh, change the color of your paints, it will stain through to the back of your canvas, even if it is primed. So most of my stuff's out of the way. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. My intention is to go ahead and attempt to use my shovel and or my scoop and or whatever. And usually I just add shapes and this time I am thinking of maybe <laughs> maybe tipping shapes. I don't know. I'm kind of really wanting... Oh, oh. I hit my oxo omelet turning spatula on myself. That's never happened before. That's not even like possible. Okay, well, let's try something else and see if it'll work. You can see that thing. These are cake spreaders that uh, Michelle sent me. Thank you, Michelle, in a pinch. I wonder where my oxo on the turning spatulas have gone. I have two of them, and they've never been... Wow, I don't think we had visitors or anything. Hard to tell, though. And it's very bright under here, so seeing the difference between the white canvas and the white paint is a little interesting. I seem to have an inordinate amount of weird stuff in here today. That looked like a hair. This is not the best spreading tool, I gotta say, but um, any port in a storm right at the moment. There seems to be an awful lot of stuff in there. Maybe I cooked it to the surface of the painting. And maybe the other paint will be the other paint will make it better. No, I still recommend the OXO omelet turning spatula and I will use it if I can find it. And I'm in shock. I can't imagine. Oh, I found it. Washed and dried. Okay. So this is why I have this. 
so much smoother of a layer of paint and very easy to see the stuff in there which there is altogether too much of but like I said I've been cooking my paint for hours and so now I'm just gonna have some fun usually I have a pre-primed canvas and uh, what kind of shovel shall I use you know what I've got I've got that rake so maybe I'll start with one thing maybe I'll start with a rake And I never did do what I was thinking about the other day, which was to tip this. And if I do the whole thing first, that's not very deep. But the paint is pretty liquidous, or it's getting that way because it's like so hot out here right now. My paint pan is pretty cool looking. I'll share that with you in a moment. It doesn't hold a ton of paint, but it holds enough, it seems like. Probably I should not <laughs> actually tip this, but I need to know what that's going to do. So I'm actually looking forward to trying something naughty. When am I ever not? All right, so now I want something to cover my containers with because I don't want them drying out. And I have a few things. Ah, oh, my paint is gonna fall over if I'm not careful. And I'm gonna try and keep that stuff from going away. That requires that sticky paper back. I'm looking at that and I'm looking at it and I, and I like it. I think I could probably add some other colors in between. I'm really tempted to do so. Maybe just one or two. Because it's fun. Because it's because I can, because that's the name of my book on the on the Amazon link underneath the video. Um, so let's do it. We maybe shouldn't. I could probably blow things around. I know I could swipe things around. And of course, the paint with the most volume to it is going to be the paint that flows the, fra the fastest and the furthest. But it might wind up looking like some really cool pattern in a sandbar. I do kind of want to just swipe it, and I bet that would be neat but I kind of want to find out what this is going to do before we go there. And I got eight minutes left. I could crisscross things over. I could also use my basting brush in there. That would be very cool. Would it? Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it wouldn't. And I don't know. I'm going to reserve judgment so far. It's not, uh, not thrilling me totally, but it's not disappointing me yet. It might be too hot to be working outside today. Oh, there was a lot more paint residual in that basting brush than I imagined. And of course, I'm destroying any of the cool patterns that are in there. So I want to kind of go alongside them, but I don't know what the proper procedure is because I haven't invented it yet. going to use the paint that I've got and my basting brush along one edge. You know, in for penny, in for pound. That was the small basting brush. So I've got other tools. And 
things are getting dry really fast. I kind of want some black in there. Dry and or sticky. Let's call it gunky. They're getting, they're getting gunked up really fast. But we are having a good time playing. <laughs> I think the white paint could have been thicker. This is my number four Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula, available underneath the uh, underneath the video on the Amazon.com link of mine. That's in blue, so if you're ever looking for that and you need to find it, that's the deal. It really makes me want to use some chain. And tell the person on the phone that we don't need to know what his conversation. <laughs> hey, I can hear you. Okay, well, he didn't get the point, but that's okay. That's kind of par for the course around here sometimes. I want some more of this beautiful pink that dries like a butterfly wing. And I think that I should be allowed. Oh, I have some some of this incredibly beautiful blue left. Let's see how much I can get out. That is also a color shift from Folk Art. So that's just kind of neat. I wonder how long I'm going to have the ability to move paint before it gets so gunky that I can't. But it doesn't keep me from wanting to try. I should probably attempt a torch. I think what I want to do, since I'm here already... Ooh, I got a really long piece of chain. Look at that. That's not the one I want. <laughs> Let's find a less long piece of chain. That is a very strong wind. It's a good thing I got plenty of paint on my canvas or it might blow away. So this is a, a lot about texture. Pretty cool. I really like that blue that I just sort of annihilated. I kind of want something in there other than what's there, like in maybe some orange, because I can. And I've still got white on my chain, which is probably okay, because it will make the tracks more interesting. That's kind of cool. I wonder what the Prussian blue will do, and I wonder how many minutes. I've, got, I've still got three minutes to go. Um, I haven't put any gold in there, and uh, it's not outside of the realm of possibility that I could do that still. I don't know about that orange in there. I'm throwing that in the bucket. Get a new piece of chain. I'm having a good time. Experimenting. There, that's interesting. What else? I see up here that that wants a little more texture than I've let, allowed it to have. So I'm going for it. I think I'm going to come back down again. Yes. That's actually pretty cool. Just going to drag a few more things through. That doesn't look like anything I've seen before. Neat! That lump to go right there. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I always tell you, which is if you want to be of assistance to me and you want to contribute through PayPal or Patreon, and you do so, you can find the PayPal and Patreon link underneath the video under Show More, and if you donate to the studio to keep me going, and thank you to everybody who has so far, then you will be included in this month's contest. I want some red. I might even want some. Yes, I do. Whoops. Didn't shake it. Oh, well. I like that. Um, anyway, so you can 
You can see on the end screens of this video, if you wait till the last 20 seconds, that um, there's a video there that will show you what the prizes are for June 2019. The drawing is on the 8th, usually. I like that. Do I want some black? Do I want... What do I want? I want something. I think I want some of this magenta. This is a cool piece. Whoops, that's not what I had in mind. Okay then. <laughs> what do you do now? You fake it out. With a bamboo skewer. That didn't hurt my feelings any. I think what I want there now, though, is... Can I get some? Please, please, please. Yes. There's a little bit of that Prussian blue. And put my magenta back. And maybe, maybe I would rather try and drag chain. Because it spreads it so nicely. It really does. kind of use some green, but I'm liking so many things about that, I don't think that I'm going to be that happy if I, uh, if I lose the sort of, uh, what do I want to call it, serendipity of these accidental experiments. Anyway, so back to the chore at hand, which would be to tell you guys that um, if you want the paint pouring recipe, it's under the video, and if you want to see my Pinterest boards they are at the bottom of the description under the video along with my Instagram and on the last 20 seconds of this video you'll find my website which is a pretty cool place to visit even if you don't do anything else there I got two minutes left to tell you whatever else I'm going to tell you I will be touching up my edges for a while hopefully I've got some spilled paint actually I've got dishes of paint and I'll just dip my fingers in there and steal that and I'm going to torch really quickly while I have a moment to release any bubbles that might be caught in the paint I don't like that mark there. So making it bigger is going to help how? <laughs> I don't know. That was probably not so bright. But it's hot. My, it's my excuse. It's always my excuse. But So this is neat. I really like that. Who knows if it would do this if the paint were... Let's just move that puddle <laughs> to where it's supposed to be. I know, I'm all over the map, I'm so sorry. So we, we did Pinterest and Instagram, and there's Facebook albums. If you go to the group called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, uh, fans and collectors, and you can see the uh, lots of the wet and dry artworks from my YouTube videos there, not all of them. If you ever want to buy anything, I do sell my artwork, and you should note at the end of every title on every video, you will see a hashtag, and that's the file number, and a date, and those two things will help me find you a painting. This is actually really beautiful. I like it a lot. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio saying thanks for all the great comments. Thanks for helping support me. Thanks to 65,000 subscribers. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm going to take a few minutes to touch up my edges and then I'm going to call it good. I love you guys absolutely to death. If you want to help me out, give me a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm know to place my videos someplace more people can find them. Yes, that's two skewers, not just one. And the same thing for watching more videos. If you watch more videos all the way through, it helps me earn an income. Even if you can't contribute any other way, it's a huge help to me if you do that. So thank you, thank you, thank you for you guys who've been doing that. I notice the difference. It's amazing. Um, it's, it's extremely helpful. So, like I said, thank you for that. I like this, and I will be playing with stuff like this again sometime soon. doesn't look like anything I've done before. Thank you for joining me. I will see you again soon, hopefully. I already said where I was and who I am, but I can always tell you I love you again. <laughs> and get the picture in, this, in the frame. There we go. All right, Priscilla out. Bye for now.